everybody wanna know. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be going over the patch notes that Tony Hyun, the director of Players First Games, just dropped for tomorrow, um, which is the release of Morty. So get hype if you guys have been waiting for Morty like I have. Uh, he'll be out tomorrow. So this video is uh, recorded the day before, so I can just go uh, get over these patch notes and let y'all know what is coming. So again, Morty will be coming tomorrow. Uh, this and then they state this patch will be entirely server side, so all the updates and uh, are online only and won't be reflected in local slash lab play until the next patch. So <clears throat> even if I made this video tomorrow and I wanted to show you guys the changes, I wouldn't be able to unless I played online. So I'll just be going over them uh, here real quick. So fixes the general perks, uh, ice to beat you. Projectiles will now only apply ice debuff to fighters that are not already debuffed by ice. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and the next up, I'll take that. Unstacked cooldown refund decreased from 0 0.5 seconds to 0 0.25 seconds. So it got a little bit of a nerf. Um, stacked cooldown refunded from 1 second to 0 0.5 seconds. So that's if both players on teams have it equipped. Um, next up, gameplay systems. It's just a little bug fix. They fixed a bug where ability, ability cooldowns may not trigger when the projectiles are, are spawned close to terrain. Uh, and then just the next up are all the character uh, changes that are introduced to this patch. So starting off with Arya, they ner uh, buffed her assassin passive. So they reduced extra damage taken from 14 to 5%. So that's nerfed okay <laughs> that's weird uh they state it's a buff but then they just like go ahead and list a nerf okay anyway we're reevaluating this passive should be removed entirely we want to take a step towards that while trying not to go too far too fast we don't want to create an assassin dominated meta so they're thinking about removing her passive completely maybe they'll uh rework aria um who knows but and then they say move list description of this will uh, change will not be updated until next patch. Finn, since we removed some power from the backpack of Finn, we're pushing some additional power into the rest of Finn's attacks to give him more kill options. So if you don't know, the last patch they pretty much destroyed Finn. Um, he he went from really good to not that good, <laughs> and people were just getting uh. Or giving a lot of feedback on how they didn't like him and just how they thought he was really weak now. So now they're buffing him. Um, air ground neutral special, so I don't know what that is. Um, it increased the damage from 5 to 6, and then this base damage is increased by holding and charging the attack. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, air ground down special, which is the BMO chop, they increased the damage from 18 to 20, and then they increase the knockback scaling from 18 to 20. Hey! <sighs> um, and then for an assassin passive, assassin passive, my bad. Uh, they reduced extra damage taken from 14 to 5 percent. So again, uh, I guess Finn has this. Oh yeah, Finn's an assassin. So, uh, yeah, so this change carries over to Finn and uh, all assassins, so even Harley. Garnet buffs are incoming next patch. So no buffs to Garnet this patch. Or nerfs. Harley, assassin passive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess they just state that for each assassin. And then for Iron Giant, Iron Giant is currently dominating with abnormally high win rates at every skill level. Iron Giant's neutral special with stacked cooldown reduction and Velma are causing too few windows for opponents to counterplay. Updates to Iron Giant, global updates to perks, and Velma updates should help provide more windows of opportunity for opponents against Iron Giant. So, Iron Giant has pretty much been a menace, especially with uh, against a good Iron Giant player if they know what they're doing. He just had a lot of uh, ridiculous stuff, like one move that could just carry you out of the stage. I'm pretty sure they nerfed that. Um, and he's just a really, really, really strong character. 
So what they did here is they nerfed his air ground neutral special. And what they did is increase the cooldown by 2 seconds from 23 to 25. Air up attack hitboxes shrank to be more accurate and fit the attack visuals. Air ground up special reduced damage by 1 and base knockback on final hit of spin. And then lastly, air ground down special got buffed, allowing a cancel out of cannonball if it hits an enemy. So that's good. He won't um just be stuck there now and in a lot of recovery just being able to get hit so if iron giant would like do that to your teammate you could run up and punish him because of the amount of recovery he had on that move so superman i guess he just had a bug uh fixed a bug that would allow superman to grapple enemies that will bounce oh that will wall bounce even if this hitboxes did not connect so that's janky uh, Taz, they just state Taz buffs are coming in the next patch, so that'll probably be, uh, so with Garnet and Taz, these buffs will probably come with the Rick, uh, release. Or if they release a different character and not Rick, uh, which will be interesting, so we'll see. And then lastly, Velma, they nerfed her air ground down special. Um, Velma educated buff reduced cooldown from 75% over 8 seconds to 50% for over 8 seconds. So damn, they nerfed it. Uh, pretty, pretty good. So, eh, it's like 25%, but it'll still be, uh, doable. But that's really it for those patch notes. Um, leave a, a comment down below if you're excited for Marty releasing tomorrow. I know I am. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys have a good rest of your night.